Hello, here is an example of a pancreas that has been bisected longitudinally. So we are actually looking at the cut surface and this is probably the region of the pancreatic head. Uh, there are some darkish areas here which are likely to represent hemorrhage. We can still make out um, the vague lobulations of the pancreatic parenchyma and this is just part of the normal architecture where you have lobules that contain the exocrine elements and also there are some endocrine elements uh, within the lobules. So this pancreas shows some areas of abnormality. For example, in these regions, you can see some kind of pale yellowish or whitish chalky deposits. These are likely to represent uh, soaps from the process of saponification. This is a result of lipase digestion of the fatty tissue, either in the peripancreatic fat or in the adipose tissue within the pancreatic parenchyma. And because there is a release of lipases from the SNR cells and digestion of the fat and fatty acid release combination with calcium and therefore formation of soaps. So we can recognize this grossly. Um, in addition, there are some areas that are darker here. These represent areas of hemorrhage and also this is because of release of activated elastase enzymes. They act on the vessel walls to digest the elastic tissue, therefore leading to hemorrhage. These findings are indicative of acute hemorrhagic pancreatitis and usually in addition to this hemorrhage and fat necrosis with saponification, we can also see edema and necrosis of the pancreatic parenchyma, which is not so obvious in this particular specimen. The pathogenesis of acute pancreatitis is usually attributable to obstruction in the pancreatic ductal system. So this can be due to stones. Um, it can also be due to tumors sometimes or strictures for whatever reason, perhaps iatrogenic from stents. Um, it could also be due to uh, toxic effects of drugs, of alcohol, and of certain infections, or even venom from snake bites, etc. All these will work together to cause the inappropriate release of activated pancreatic enzymes, and therefore the destruction of pancreatic parenchyma, fatty tissue, and also blood vessels. Microscopically, uh, there are some fat here, residual fat, and all these areas have been destroyed by enzymatic action. Uh, the tissue is necrotic, and you can't really see the nice outlines of pancreatic SNI and ducts. Here is a lower magnification picture showing you the preserved lobulations of the pancreatic tissue, and then uh, this was the area that we saw just now. All of this is destroyed by enzymatic digestion, giving rise to necrosis, edema, and hemorrhage, and also fat necrosis. And here is an even higher magnification view showing all the necrotic digested tissue, and this is a blood vessel uh, where the wall has been destroyed, and there's some evidence of fibrinoid necrosis and this explains why we see hemorrhage grossly because the blood vessel walls lose their integrity. So to summarize, this is an example of acute pancreatitis and what we can appreciate are these areas of fat necrosis with saponification with these chalky deposits and we can also see some areas of hemorrhage which are likely to be due to elastase enzyme release from the damaged pancreatic SNR cells.